Octavius Murray is slowly becoming one of the most forgotten stars of the 2010s. And when I mean star, I mean it. In 2015, Latavius Murray exploded as one of the come-up running backs in his sophomore year, having over 1,000 yards and making the Pro Bowl, notching himself a name as possibly a top 10 running back in the league. At the young age of 25, Latavius Murray was a top 10 running back, but completely fell off, and now four years later, is quickly forgotten that he was an upcoming star running back. Back in 2013, Latavius Murray was drafted in the 6th round and wasn't really going to be used as a primary number 1 or 2 back. He was from Central Florida, didn't put up that much numbers. He just had a good combine. It was really, really interesting. After missing the entire year of 2013, spending a year on the practice squad, in 2014 he was brought up to the active roster, playing in 15 games, even starting 3 of them, having 424 yards with two touchdowns. But very quickly, he became a name during the offseason. After a good camp and a good preseason, once again, Latavius Murray would make the roster for the 2015 season, started 16 games, ran for 1,066 yards with six touchdowns, and made the Pro Bowl. Quickly, like I said in the intro, made himself a case for a top 10 running back. That was the year, you know, Jay Jai was making a name for himself and was considered a top 5 back. The production from the running back position in 2015 was very, very limited. Now, every running back is good. Every team has an elite running back. But in 2016, at the age of 26, he had a down year. Playing in 14 games, starting 12, 195 carries, 788 yards, but 12 touchdowns and missed the Pro Bowl. After that year, he wanted a nice contract extension by the Oakland Raiders. And after a disagreement for the price, he signed a three-year deal worth $15 million with the Minnesota Vikings. Having 216 carries, 842 yards, I'm sorry, with eight touchdowns, and having a little bit of involvement in the passing game. In 2018, after suffering some minor injuries, he still played 16 games. Started six of them, had 578 yards along with six touchdowns. And after that, he was released by the Minnesota Vikings and was signed by the New Orleans Saints. And in 2019, he was back up with Alva Kamara, starting eight games, playing all 16, having 637 rushing yards and five touchdowns, being the most involved in a passing game of his career, having his only receiving touchdown. And I may have sounded a bit choppy, throughout this video for Latavius Murray, because this whole time while I'm talking and, you know, making this video, I'm thinking, how did he become one of the most, you know, underrated running backs from 2015 to 16 to the Minnesota Vikings, you know, being the guy who stepped up for injured Dalvin Cook and was in a situation where he, he was just completely forgotten about. And I remember in 2015 watching Raiders games and Latavius Murray was the only bright spot and that was the year before, you know, Derek Carr broke out in 2016. But Latavius Murray was, was a, a beast. You know, his yards per carry was only four back in 2015. But the man put up numbers. The man was like a modern-day Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is better at catching the ball in the backfield. But Latavius Murray was fast. He was hard to tackle. He, he just he was so fun to watch. But... Quickly, he is no longer that type of guy. You know, in 2020, he will be 30 years old. And it'll be very interesting to see what comes up from him. And I really, really do hope that Latavius Murray can finally, you know, find some kind of consistency. Because he's only had over 200 carries twice. And he's just so, I don't want to say so talented because he's definitely fallen off. But he still has a little bit left in the tank, I would say. So if you guys did enjoy the video, this video was probably one of the worst videos I've made in a while. But I had to get a video out since I haven't uploaded in about a week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.